And was the order given or not? The city's police union is now investigating police communication during the riot. And one of the big questions, were officers told to stand down? 11 News reporter George Lettuce is live at FOP headquarters in North Baltimore. George. Well, Donna, the FOP says more than 160 police officers were injured during the riots. An officer we talked to tonight says the stand down order was given, but a different story is coming from the police commissioner tonight. In a Freedom of Information Act request, the FOP wants police department and city hall leadership communications during Baltimore's unrest. That includes recorded command staff radio calls, emails, and text messages. The release will resolve questions about what was ordered, in fact, what was not ordered during the riots. Maybe the biggest order in question, were officers told to stand down? 11 News spoke to a Baltimore City police officer who was deployed during the riots. That officer, who did not want to be identified, says Police Commissioner Anthony Batts and a colonel gave the stand down order, which allegedly goes like this. Officers should stand in line formations, ignore property damage. If people set fires, the line can move to where the fire is, but don't chase suspects. An attorney representing dozens of frontline officers injured during the riots says his clients are telling the same story, particularly when it came to three hot spots April 25th and 27th Camden Yards, Mondaman Mall, and Penn and North. Don't engage, don't engage, don't engage the rioters or the looters. Don't do anything that could be perceived as instigating. Warren Alperstein's clients say many officers were unequipped to protect themselves from various objects they say they were hit with that caused severe bruising and concussions. Many of them are still having uh, very severe symptoms, including nausea, sensitivity to light, um, uh, balance issues. Wednesday afternoon, Commissioner Batts responded to the question, was a stand down order given? I never gave an order to stand down. Uh, the assistant the incident commander told me she never gave her the order. Deputy commissioners in the field told me they never gave the order. At a press conference the night of April 25th, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake told reporters the city, quote, gave those who wished to destroy space to do that. Two days later, she said her words were misrepresented and there was no stand down order, she says. Did people exploit? Those tactics or that that space that we gave to you know that that we facilitated to have peaceful protests were bad. Yes, they did, but we didn't endorse it. So will police cooperate with this FOP FOIA request? Well, the commissioner said today, quote, just like anyone else, they have a right to the information that we are going to share with them. We're live in North Baltimore. George Lettuce, WBAL TV, 11 News.